Hello, Laravel friends. It has been a while because I was preparing for my Laracon online talk and I also released a new video course about TDD called Pest Driven Level. You can find the links for my talk and the new course down below in the description. But this also means we have to cover now the releases for Laravel 928, 929 and 930. Let's dive right in. First, the test view received some new assertion which were only available on the test response before. When making assertion against the view, you could always do this already through an HTTP request and then chain a bunch of assertion like assert view has, assert view has all, or assert view missing. Since level 9.28, you can also run the same assertion but now directly on a view that you create yourself, like you see here. Thank you, Andrew. Before these releases, whenever you forgot to add a field to your fillable array in your Eloquent model, it was always a little bit difficult to see why your code was not working as expected. But there is now a new way to enforce a better exception message. Here in this example, I create a new user with a name, email and password. And when I run the code, it will fail because it looks like I haven't provided the name, which I actually have. Then with some debugging, you will find out that inside your model, you haven't used the name inside your fillable array. That's why we see the exception. But the exception wasn't very clear about what was really going on. Since level 9.28, you can define that you want to prevent silently discarding attributes with this method call here. And suddenly when we run the code again, we see a totally different exception message. And now how good is that to read? It tells us exactly what the problem was. This is extremely handy and if you're using the fillable array for your models, then you should give this a look. Another tip here, the method also accepts a boolean to determine if this option should be used or not. So we can, for example, check if we're currently in production or not. So this is another way to activate this functionality. Thank you, Ralph. Then we have something new in Laravel called signal traps. It's a new concept that lets you catch signals of a process and then run code when they occur. Let me show you. On different operating systems, you can send signals to running processes. So for example, when I run here an artisan command, my backup command, I can quit this process with Ctrl C and I'm sure you've done this before. When we do this, a signal is being sent to make this happen. Nuno Maduro introduced a new way to listen to such signals in artisan comments. The one that we have used to quit the process is called sigint. So this means for our backup comment that the user can just quit the process as we did before at any time. This means it could be that the backup comment was not finished and some files are left behind which could get messy. Nuno introduced this feature so that we can handle such events. As a developer, this is now very useful because in our backup comment, I can now listen for this signal and deal with it. Here in this example, I might clean up some code and reset the state when our process is being cancelled. Let's run the comment again. And when we quit it, you can see that our listener was called. The sick in signal is just one of many that you can use to listen to and then decide in your comments how you want to deal with them. Thank you, Nuno. Frank Tichonga introduced two new features to the file system. First, there are now read-only disks. So this means all write operations on this disk won't work and it's a great way to secure a specific disk so that it's only readable. And second, you can now use scoped disks. This is a great way to reuse configuration from a different disk. And this is very handy, for example, if you only want to define a different path but want to use the same configuration from another disk. Thank you, Frank. Then there is a new force option for artisan make comments. This will make it way easier if you want to recreate files that already exist in your application. Thank you, James. Next, you will also find a new validation rule in Laravel called required if accepted. Here we have data to validate an array with an is company to decide if there is a company and the company name. Both are required fields and when we run the validation, it will pass. But now if company is false, we probably don't even get a company name and it will fail. 
And actually, we don't want to require the company name if the company itself is not given. Well, now we can define this with a new validation rule called required if accepted. And as an argument, we're going to provide the is company field. So this means now our company name now is only required if the is company field is accepted. And now the validation will pass again. And if company is given, it will fail now because now our company name is again required. Pretty handy, right? Thank you, Pascal. Another new feature that we have for Laravel in testing is that we now can make sure that an attachment is given on a mailable. When you test a mailable, you can already check if it has a to or a subject defined. Similar to this, you can now also see if there is an attachment, like with the methods has attachment, then we would provide the file name, or we could also provide a storage, or we could also do this with a disk. And all those methods just return true or false, but we can even use assertions for all those different methods, which I just showed you, which are very handy when using inside a test. Thank you, Andrew. That's a wrap for the releases 9.28, 9.29 and 9.30. Again, as always, thank you to the Level team and all the contributors. You are doing an amazing job. We are going to see us next week and have fun with all the new features. Bye.